Hey class of 21, this is Mrs. Carter in the scholarship office and today I'm going to share with you some tips and tricks regarding scholarships and applications. First, I kind of want to talk to you a little bit about applications that you might be filling out. Does the application for admission to the school of your choice consider you for their scholarships as well? If it doesn't, make sure you get the link to fill out their scholarships. So you'll be eligible for those. Your email, make sure you check this often. Please don't use your SSHS Go Siloam email address. That will go away when you graduate. And so you don't want to lose access to any important information that you might have through your Go Siloam account that you need to carry forward um, into your college years. Think about creating a new email address specifically for college and scholarship searches. Uh, fee waivers. Some students may qualify for an uh, application or an ACT fee waiver. You can check in the counseling office and we can let you know if you qualify. Uh, regarding deadlines, watch those deadlines, priority and final deadlines, primarily when uh, filling out scholarship applications. Uh, every college is different, so just make sure you check the dates and, and make a note of those so you'll be aware. And then letters of recommendation. Please make sure to give um, your recommender plenty of time to complete that and make sure it's somebody that knows you well so they can actually give an honest review um, over your character and your work ethic. So whenever you're completing an essay, make sure you pay attention to the prompt. Um, that's very important to um, the folks who are going to be reviewing that essay. Utilize your life experiences, the things that make you who you are, and don't be afraid to give details. They want more information. They want you to tell a story. Um, make sure you proofread. Make sure you ask somebody else to proofread. I'm more than happy uh, to, to do that. You can share it with me as a Google Doc and I'll review it and make some um, marks and send it back to you. And you can use those marks, um, those changes or, or not use them. But I'm happy to do that. And I know there are plenty of teachers here at this high school that'll be happy to help you with that as well. Um, so just make sure you use the resources that you have available for that. So regarding financial aid, there's grants, scholarships, work study, and federal loans, um, student loans. Federal aid is, is through the FAFSA. That's the free application for federal student aid. And this is going to determine how much financial aid you're going to be eligible for. The Pell Grant is the free money that you don't pay back. Um, that's $6,300 per year based on need. Student loans, of course, money that you pay back with interest, and then work study, which would be a part-time job on campus. When you fill out the FAFSA, you can actually choose to download um, the mobile app and complete that on your phone if that would be easier for you. Um, you would need to sign it electronically. It's a lot faster that way. And both parent and student need to have an FSA ID. If you have any trouble in completing your FAFSA, I'll be more than happy to help you. Every situation is unique. Um, and so if it's not something that I'm able to assist with, then I can definitely direct you in the right, um, the, down the right avenue to, to find somebody that can help complete that with you. There's state aid. Now, this is aid that you use uh, to go to school in Arkansas. This can be a four-year school, two-year school, trade school. Um, this is through the Arkansas Department of Higher Education, and it's through the universal application. The application is open now, and it closes July 1st. Now, there is a glitch right now that the ADHE is aware of. If you see that glitch, if you try to apply and you see the glitch, just follow the prompt. Um, you'll know if it's you, and um, if because it's not happening to every student. If you have any trouble with it, just let me know, and I'll be happy to assist you with it as well. With the Arkansas Academic Challenge, you need to complete the FAFSA. That is a requirement. You've also got to have a minimum ACT of 19. If uh, that 19 just isn't working for you, there are other options available. So just send an email to your counselor, and she'll be able to get you set up with another option so that you can be eligible for that Academic Challenge money. Uh, this can be used for a four-year or two-year school in the state of Arkansas, $14,000 over four years at a four-year school, $4,000 over two years at a two-year school. Um, great funds that you do not have to pay back, so it's very important that you do complete this application. There's also the Arkansas Future Grant. This is for students who plan to enroll in STEM or high demand areas in the state of Arkansas for, for their studying. This is something that's usually done through a two-year program, certificate training, um, so VOTEC or um, trade school type training. It's going to cover tuition and fees for qualifying programs. And there's actually a list of those programs that uh, this grant will cover. Now, with this grant, you do have to complete the FAFSA again. And um, once you've received it, you do have to get monthly mentoring and complete 10 hours of community service each semester. Um, if you're not able to complete these responsibilities and you receive the money, 
it will be converted over to a, a loan with interest that you'll have to pay for. So just keep this in mind. It's a really great program, but if it's not something that you think that you can fulfill your end of um, the agreement with, then it might be something that you'll need to think about. Uh, there's also the workforce challenge, though. So this is another one with high demand field um, and healthcare, I, IT industry. So you know, medical assistants, dental assistants, truck drivers, automotive service, heating and air. Um, there's a lot of different opportunities here, and this is going to cover up to eight hundred dollars um, of this program again through a VoTech or technical training. Many, many, many schools in the state of Arkansas work with this and have. Um, classes have certificate and technical training that qualify a student to be eligible for the workforce challenge and you do not have to pay this money back. You can actually overlap it. You can use one, for example, to get your CNA license and then you can use it again to, to get your LPN license. So another great option out there. One of the big ones through the state of Arkansas is the governor's. That's a 32 ACT with 3.5 GPA or be a national merit finalist. This is $10,000 per year up to $40,000 and they give up to 375 awards per year. Um, the deadline is March 1st, so um, make sure you get in there as soon as possible to fill out this application through the U Universal um, Arkansas Department of Higher Education application and it'll let you know if you're eligible for this one based off the questions that you answer. Again, if you have any trouble, shoot me an email, stop by the office and I'll be happy to help you with it. Now, college scholarships, many different types of scholarships, ACT based, honors college, department based, um, alumni foundation. Just watch the deadlines on those. They're going to have different deadlines from different schools. Um, there's going to be requirements for each one. If you have any questions, you can call the college, send an email, and they'll be happy to help you with that. Keep in mind, too, there's a lot of different outside scholarships available once you're already in college. Scholarships that are specifically for college freshmen, sophomore, junior, seniors. So just because you don't have a full ride at the end of your high school year doesn't mean that you will not continue to get scholarships as long as you can. You just have to continue to apply for them. So there's national and regional, regional scholarships, um, and those can be found through just basic scholarship searches, FastWeb, Going Mary, CapEx, or you can just Google it. Um, just type in the name and um, you'll get all types of different scholarships that you can see if you qualify for. Um, you can find scholarships based off of your unique physical traits, um, your creativity, your talent, your interests. Um, if there's something unique about you, type that word into a Google search bar and type scholarship behind it and you'd be really surprised at what might come up um, that you would be eligible to apply for. Now there are some resources that we have through the high school. On the high school's webpage, there's the Counseling Department Student Resources block. This is something that um, hopefully you all know about. Uh, it does have a lot of different links on here to, to go through. If you scroll down, we've got one down here. Of course, the Arkansas Department of Higher Education, a link so you can apply right through here. And then there's also um, the scholarship opportunities with our scholarship newsletter. Um, it used to be known as the scholarship newsletter. Now it's a Google Doc that we have sorted by um, month due. So make sure to just hop on here once or twice a week to see if we have anything new added. Um, you can look at the basic eligibility and see if it's something that you would want to click on the scholarship name and link to see if you would um, fulfill all the requirements so that you could apply for it. Make sure you do check every month because of when the application does open and when it does close, it could fall at the beginning of the month and you don't wanna miss out on any of that. So the next scholarship I want to talk to you about is our local scholarship program. This is something that's unique to Salem Springs High School. It's only for our seniors. It's funded by our community, businesses, individuals, organizations. They, um, we, we have an application process that you all will be eligible to complete beginning November 2nd. The deadline will be January 19th. And um, we have donors that review those applications and they pick recipients based off of those applications. This scholarship program is not designed to pay your way through college. There's no guarantee of how much money you will get. Some students will get more money than others. Some will get less. Um, it's just, it just depends on the donors and um, the students that they receive for or, or decide to, to choose to receive their scholarships. Um, when that does open, we'll be sending it more information out. You'll go to the high school's webpage again. There'll be a big block that says local scholarship application open 
And then it'll take you to the scholarship portal where you will be a new user and you'll create an account. Again, please don't use your school um, Go Asylum account. We wanna make sure that we can correspond with you after you graduate high school regarding your scholarship to make sure that you get those funds to help you with college. This local scholarship money, it can be used at any type of higher education um, institution, four-year, two-year trade school, technical school, um, online classes, um, any type of schooling that you can think for, think of, um, it could be used for just ask me and I'll be happy to help you um, work through that if, if, if you're not sure. So we have Remind available for the class of 21. Um, everybody knows how Remind works. I highly encourage you to sign up for this. We've got messages going out weekly regarding virtual visits, regarding scholarships, um, as the year progresses, there'll be more information that goes out regarding cap and gown, um, project graduation, just different things that pertain to seniors. So please make sure you sign up for this based off of your last name. Just text the below mes message to 81010 so you can get into the Remind group. And lastly, if you didn't get anything out of this presentation, just know that the Counseling and Scholarship Office, we are here to help you guys. Um, again, I'm Mrs. Carter. Mrs. Kretzer is the administrative assistant for the counselors and for myself. Um, we have a Facebook and an Instagram account. Um, we're here to help you. If you have questions, if you need assistance, if you don't know where to start, please feel free to contact us and we'll be happy to help you go forward. Um, I hope you guys have a great day and a fantastic senior year.